What's up everybody? This is uh, Tim Dodd. I'm going to show you how you can make collisions for your game. Um, I'm going to try to do this real quick because we got 10 minutes on the clock. I don't want to try to keep it in one video, so let's go to, let's open up uh, Visual Studio. Let's make a new project. Um, I'm just going to call this, so let's select uh, Game Studio. Hopefully you have 3.1. Call this Game Demo. Ah, let's call it Collisions. Demo. Okay. <coughs> Somebody was complaining to me that I didn't say what an object is. Uh, an object's just, this is object oriented uh, programming. So basically you have code and objects. Uh, just cleans up your code. It's hard, just look it up if you want to know what objects are. <laughs> um, okay, so we got the game CS over here. This is our main code. If you watched in my other lessons, you would see. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new class. Let's do that real quick. So class. Right click on here. Go to class. We'll call it player. Okay, so we got our player class. We're going to make it public. with a small lowercase here. Um, and we're going to add a couple methods. One is going to be update. Make it a void. Void means it does not bring back anything. I'll explain that later. Okay. And then we'll make a public void draw um, okay we got that so this is gonna this is gonna update our player this is gonna draw it basically when anything calls it we're gonna add using a uh, Microsoft framework oh. this is adding references to X and A so we can use them. Otherwise, they won't be shown on IntelliSense and the compiler won't know what you're talking about. So let's add graphics too. Uh, we're going to add inputs. Okay. Alright, so collisions. Basically, collision if you don't already know it this is basic collisions it's where two objects meet and knowing if you know like say there's a wall and you got a player moving like what makes him stop now there's a lot of uh, advanced methods I'm gonna go over a really simple easy basic one that can be used in advanced ones so let's just get started here the key to our collisions are going to be what they're referred to as bounding boxes. And we're just going to use that for the collision. But what they are is letting, uh, when you're searching for different collisions, it's, it's letting, it's a rectangle and you can do an intersect to test for the collision. Um, so let's make a rectangle here. Uh, okay, well, we'll call this collision box. Okay, so we'll make another public. This will be the constructor. Now, when we make the player object, we're going to have to fill in parameters here, like, because this is to put parameters in our player class or player object so what we're gonna have is we're gonna have uh, a vector 2 which is just two 
positions uh, in space, x, y space. So we'll put position, and then we'll have uh, the height. We can just make this an int, an integer, and then the width. So let me make a new one right here. Uh, we're going to call this position. Oops, forgot to. Okay, so vector 2. And we're just going to copy this parameter right here that we're going to input. So to so it can use it locally, right? So position equals position. So that's moving it from here from our parameter into our object so it can use it locally. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, so what we're going to do... Now we can be really tricky here. Uh, but... I'm going to make a public, I'm going to excuse this right here, I just had to think about what I was doing. Instead of setting it right there, what we're going to do is we're going to say public uh, set position, right? Now public means it can be accessed outside of this object right here. So if we're in some other class, if we want to call this, it's got to be public, otherwise you won't see it in IntelliSense. And IntelliSense, I'm meaning if you press this, this little menu, it's intelligently telling us, you know, what we can put here. So it sees inside this object, it sees the collision box in a position. But anyway, I'll go over that more later. So we're already at seven minutes, so this is probably going to be a couple part video. Um, so we're going to go position. And then, okay, first let's save these. So we're going to uh, int height, player height, int width, player width. So we're going to say, width equals width, okay, um, height equals height. I'm referring to this height right here. Bam, bam, bam. Um, and instead of setting it like I am right here, we're going to say, I'm going to call this a void. We're going to say, um, We're going to say set position, which is our new method right here that we wrote. It's not doing anything right now, but for the future. And then we're going to say position. Now what this is going to do is when we set the position, it's going to automatically generate the correct uh, rectangle uh, size around the player. So based off the position. Um, So that way, anytime we move the position, we can just say set position, and we don't have to write more code. It'll just save us time for code. So I'm going to say position equals position. And I'm also going to say collision box equals new rectangle. Now we got parameters in here, and we do want to use them. Now here's the tricky part. The X is the top left of the box. The Y is the top left of the box. So if our position is say five or like one one or something like that, one X, one Y. We don't want the box to start right there. We want the position to be in the middle of the box, right? 
Like we want the position of our player to be considered the middle of the box. And how we're going to do that is we're going to say position dot x minus width divided by two. So you get what we're doing right there? We're taking the position and we're minusing half of the width. So it'll offset it to the left. And then we're going to do the same for the uh, for the y position. So it'll be y minus height divided by 2. And you got to have these brackets here so it does the math correctly. Okay, and it's complaining about something. This little blue line. Which doesn't matter because I can already see an error right here. This is a float value. A float value cannot go into an int, an integer. So what you have to do to fix this error is you have to cast it. It's just one more painful thing you have to do in programming. But see so what I'm going to do. Because an integer doesn't have a decimal point, right? So when you cast it to an int, it's going to cut off the decimal point off of this uh, off of this vector. So we're going to do the same thing over here. So int, and then surround the whole thing. Our code's getting really long, so I'm going to kind of break it up here. I just press enter. I went down. And it's, it still counts as the same code. It's just a little easier to read. So, if you look at it, you're probably, uh, IntelliSense looks a little different, but uh, we got width here. So we're just going to put the width, put the height, um, and we don't have to cast these because these are already integers. See? See how it's asking for an integer? We don't have to cast it. This is casting. Right here. It's telling the compiler that this code needs to turn from a float to an integer. So we got that. Goody, goody, goody. Now, we're going to need a picture. So, let me open up paint. So, I got paint open. Now I'm going to draw a little ugly uh, dude. Now this isn't going to be pixel perfect collisions, but we're going to have collisions. So. There, there's our guy. Now file, let's save this as a PNG. Let me go to the. Let me go to. Gotta find this. Visual Studio. No, not 2010. Let's go back. Sorry, I have to navigate through all this stuff. Our collision game demo. So we're going to go to the content folder. So find your project. Go to the content folder and just put it there. And while we have the, the editor open, I'm going to make some other stuff. Actually, I want to fill this dude's head in with black too. So, so let's make a new one. And I'm just going to make like a block or something. brown block. It's going to be cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this as block. So we got our block and player, but it's not in the game yet. We got to add it. So, if you look over here, there's a little content folder. Right click on it. Add existing. And then just select both of those ones. They should be right there. If they're not